It seems that in cold country, every farm and ranch store, every hardware store, even some grocery stores, sell some version of the barrel stove. I built our very first barrel stove almost four years ago to the day. At that time we were living in town, but I had the thought that the barrel stove would be a good, quick, cheap way to heat up our shop. The close cousin to the barrel stove is the double barrel stove. When I purchased the barrel stove online, I noticed the double barrel stove kits popping up all over as well. And I had a thought to myself that someday I would build one of these as well. When I built our first barrel stove, we'd only been living in Idaho about a year. We had purchased our land where one day our off-grid home and shop would be, but I had no idea what I was getting into. A month before I built that first barrel stove, I had just finished the concrete foundation, which is now the shop foundation. And shortly after that, it snowed so much that I would not get back up to our land for about three months. The barrel stoves are notoriously cheap and inexpensive to build, They're not exactly airtight. If you use the right barrel, they can last a long time. If you don't, they can last a couple of years. I went out of my way to find the thickest steel drums that I could find. The second barrel on the double barrel stove is designed to retain a little bit more heat before the smoke makes its way up the chimney. I also went out of my way to try and find barrels that did not have chemicals in them that were horribly flammable. But I still took the precautions to make sure they were not gonna explode on me while they were being cut. One of these steel drums had a glue in it. One of them had glycol in it. More than anything, I want to see if a double barrel stove can put off enough heat to heat the 40 by 40 shop.
I will have less than $100 tied up in the complete barrel stove kit. So before I went out and bought some big expensive wood burning stove for the shop, I wanted to give this a try first. When I built the first one, I learned it's best to get as much of the paint off the barrel stoves as possible. The paint will slowly burn off as the stove is being used, and that smell is not the greatest. So just like the first barrel stove I built, I will take the weed burner to the double barrel stoves and get as much paint off as I can before I put them into use. Because we have so much hardwood around our property, we will always use some sort of a wood burning stove, both in the shop and in the house. With my plumbing background, I very easily could have put radiant floor heating in the shop and I never would have had to worry about how I'm gonna heat the shop from that point on. But a radiant floor system requires power and because we're off grid, I've made an effort to keep the electrical to a minimum, even out here in the shop. Plus I enjoy the idea of burning wood. There's something about sitting in front of a nice warm fire that seems to strike a chord inside most people. And I look forward to doing that out here in the shop even on the coldest days of the year. As I was trying to get the double barrel stove as hot as I possibly could get it, I remembered the recent purchase in the battery powered blower, and I very quickly added that to the mix. And this helped heat up the stoves quite a bit, but I still had to use the weed burner to get as much of the paint off as I possibly could. I bought four cans of high temp black paint to use on the barrel stoves, but even the high temp black paint doesn't last that long. And as I worked on the barrel stove, I liked the way that it looked. I decided that I would leave it as it is, let the last little bit of paint slowly work its way off as it gets used, and save the high temp black paint for something else. Mm -hmm. 
Now that it's been four years since I built my very first barrel stove, we have a little bit of perspective on living off-grid in the mountains of Idaho. We've built the house. We've nearly finished the shop. Winters can be cold. You can never have too much firewood. And now I have a source to heat the shop. I relocated the damper from the very top of the barrel stove to about 18 inches above the barrel stove in the chimney pipe. And this seems to make a difference. We've learned that having the damper about 18 inches away from the wood stove allows the stove to get a little bit warmer and retains just a little bit more heat. From the top of the barrel stove, the smoke has over 16 feet of pipe that it has to travel through before making its way to the outside. I worry this may be a little bit of an issue, getting that smoke to draft properly through that second chamber and finding its way out, but I'm ready to try it out and see how it works.
I find it hard to know 